Hello everyone. Woo! A bee tried to kill me. Right, hello everyone. Welcome to Captain of My Shed. I'm Captain Mikey. First video in ages, and it's a very quick one. I made a new purchase the other day, and it came on that stand. Quite a heavy steel thing. It actually doesn't fit in my shed. So I've modified a stand that I had for my old bandsaw. And this is the modification. I've put some reinforcement on it, cut these little grooves to allow for the profile of the underside of the tool I'm mounting on it. And the reason for the video is I want to show you this little caster system. The casters aren't there at the moment, but it's uh, really effective and cheap. And I'm amazed that it actually moves this heavy beast. Anyway, let's get the saw mounted on this in the shed and uh, I'll show you how the caster system works. Okay, this is a complete bodge, I'll admit that, but it seems to work. I've basically bought myself, X Display, this trade bandsaw from Axminster. I got a decent price on it because Axminster logos or their branding and trade I think has now become pro. This one has a trade sticker on it, so it had to go. This is the last one in the UK, apparently. Anyway, it is a heavy beast. It's considerably bigger, a lot more capable than what I had before in the little Titan machine, which gave up the ghost. Anyway, this is my solution to help me move it about the shop a little bit once I've got it on the stand. And it's this. It's just a piece of oak strapped to a couple of boards. And the way this works, is as follows. So please excuse the quality of this video. I will get back to regular pro programming at some point, but here we go, here, here's what we've got. This is the underside of the unit. Our little dolly unit goes under here. All I've really spent on is some heavy duty hinges and they're quite small, but fairly heavy duty casters too. They sit in there like that. They sit in there like that. And if you can imagine when it's flipped the other way, I can push my foot on here and that flattens them out. Uh, don't have to come up too much. I've, uh, I've tested it out already and they do work. So let me show you. Don't do this at home, kids. Um, I need about five other pairs of hands, but I haven't got that. If you're gonna do it, keep your back super straight, bend from the legs and lift. If it ain't bending, you're just pretending. Right, let's do this. There we go. Woo, symbols. Right, now. Will it move? Let's see. So there's our little lever. I should just be able to step on this. The whole thing lifts and we're moving. It's not super slick, but it works. It's cost me peanuts. So. So, I don't know what this weighs, but I can tell you it's not light. So just a real quick one, just to give you some ideas if you're struggling on how to move heavy stuff about the shop. It's not a bad option. Stick it under the units that you're building. Make sure you do it before you put the piece on, because once it's on, you're probably not gonna touch it again. And uh, that's just gonna make it a ton easier to move this thing if I need to. For example, if I need a bit bigger depth of cut, I can move this back now and I can get a longer, longer cut out of it. So uh, it's gonna be super helpful. Um, those casters I think I bought off Amazon, you'll be able to find something similar and they roll really nicely, I have to say. I don't know how long this system will last, uh, but uh, it'll do for now until bigger plans are sorted. Okay, we're all in place. We're all set up. Ow. Um, yeah, we're all set up. 
the Axminster Trade AT2552B. Rolls off the tongue. I can tell you it's a heavy piece of kit. It's about a million steps up in terms of build quality and accuracy uh, compared to the tiny little uh, Titan machine that I was using, which was great for, I mean, it was peanuts to buy. This was a little bit more of an expensive machine. I was lucky to get a bit of a deal on it. Um, I thought I'd show you another thing as well. Uh, this is a beautiful miter gauge and it will not break the bank. Nice uh, hard plastic underneath here to just keep from scratching your um, table. Adjustable split rings here to fit any miter slot. So this will go on your table saw as well. You can get it from Banggood. What I recommend is you check out the review on this exact um, unit on Dennis from Hooked on Wood. He has a fantastic channel. He has a series called China Tools. He reviews this and he has a link to it. I can't remember. It just says new as the brand. And um, yeah, give it a go. You won't find better quality for that kind of price anywhere else, I don't think. Um, I wish I was on commission because this should sell itself, I think. Anyway, I'll do a full setup of this at some point. We'll probably record that. There's lots more to come in the future. I've been very slow over the last couple of months for that. I apologize. I haven't produced anything in two months, in fact. Um, so I have been making a hell of a mess in the workshop. I've had a couple of jobs on. But uh, yeah, going back to full time flying. And the kids being off on summer holidays meant that I just didn't have any time at all. To I haven't even been in the workshop in a month. So um, that's going to change in November. I'm going back to part-time, this time on my terms and not because the world is locked down. Uh, it'll be a much better, much more relaxed uh, deal. And I will be able to produce more, wo more work here in the, in the shed. And I'll film that and show it to you. So... If you thought I dropped off the face of the earth, I haven't. I am still alive and itching to get into some more videos. So if you like the content that you've seen in the past, then please subscribe and uh, keep watching this space. More to come. Take care, guys. Bye.